Seeing as how his home-brewed patootie sealant done the trick on these horses, Freddy ran round and dumped the stuff into all the horse troughs in town. It weren't long before the folks of Coarse Gold was all breathing a sigh of relief. Freddy tossed away his homemade gas mask. Kind of a shame, too, since he could have made a purdy penny off the patent rights. Life returned to normal for a short spell, any hooch, until one lazy day when one of the local inbreds came a running up with the latest calamity. Board up your windows and doors. Lock up the women and children. Run for the border, Louise. There's a stampede a coming. A stampede! Hurry up, Freddy. You only got a week and a half before they get here. A week and a half? They snails! Snails? Snails? Good heavens! This is the worst thing to happen to coarse gold since the great hail of clams back in 83. Mom! Hey, Mom! Just let me guess. You only have one cavity, am I right? Huh? Uh, no. I wanted to know if you have any salt. There's a stampede of snails a-coming, and I mean to stop them. I don't know anything about no stampede. Unless they're stopping here to eat, I don't even care. As for salt, you know we're a salt-free community. That's why everyone's so uh, laid back. <laughs> Low blood pressure and we aim to keep it that way, son. Dang. Well, what could I use? Well, beer works for me. I just spread a little of it out along the back porch and them little buggers just follow it right off. Jeez, Mom. Thanks. Now get your ass out of here. Hey, Sam, give me a case of the beer you just got in from St. Louis. One case of lowbrow for the pharmacist, coming right up. Sam hands you a case of lowbrow, the beer that gave St. Louis blues. Now, you know that this beer doesn't come corked, right? They're using some newfangled pinched metal tops. No problem, Sam. I'll take care of it. All right, fine. That'll be $4.87. Here you go. Nice bankroll. Come back anytime. Reverend Psy Hallelujah lives here. The church has a belfry, so named because somebody donated a bell. A variety of polypetalous green, fleshy, spiny members of the family Cactaceae grow in spurts around the foundation of the church. Aren't you sorry you asked? 
One of Hyman Undertaker's coffins is lying in disrepair off near Reboot Hill. It looks like a cedar model number seven. Eternal slumber and no moths. You slowly open the coffin. <coughs> Say, you ought to do something about that coffin. A squeaky old sheep weather vane turns gently on top of Reverend Hallelujah's house. Perhaps he's trying to get people to join his flock. There seems to be something in the lock. You wisely reconsider your idea of pushing on the stained glass to see if it's still in good shape. Score! You take the key to the church. Hmm? With muscles bulging from years of grappling with childproof caps, you deftly wield the church key and wrench the tops from all the beer bottles. Score! They started to build an outhouse here. But municipal funds ran out during construction, so the builder did a half-assed job. Hmm, not much privacy, but the ventilation is excellent. High in the sky stands the town gallows. Ernest and Julio Gallo's brand lynching equipment. We will hang no man before his time. That was a close one. Considering the condition of this old bridge, you may only have about three crossings left. These snails are the leading edge of a stampede of imported French escargot recently escaped from a haughty San Francisco restaurant being chased by a posse of snooty San Francisco chefs. They appear to stretch to the horizon and they're heading straight for town. If you don't do something soon to prevent them, they'll slime the entire city. You grab a couple of snails from the front of the pack while imagining the aroma of warm, drawn butter. Hey boys, it's Miller time! And with that, you cleverly pour bottle after bottle of Sam Andreas' St. Louis brew into the dusty road in an attempt to divert the stampede. Will it work? Will the snails fall for your ruse? Will they accept a domestic? Slurping their little hearts out, if snails may be said to slurp or to have hearts for that matter, the little guys follow your lead straight over to the cliff beside Blackwater Creek. Isn't that cute? They're so gullible. Don't they look just like little lemmings marching over that cliff? <laughs>